get your ticket now. Now, 17 years of journalism added little to his life, and he says his years in acting have not been any better. Veteran actor Kofi Ajololo believes all these come down to producers' failure to pay him in full for roles he played in their movies. In spite of this, however, some bloggers claim the actor may be worth over $800,000. Listen to Kofi Ajololo. Some of the producers in Ghana here, they should respect themselves. All the big producers in Ghana, some of them, they owe me 2000 3000 1000 my, my actors out the whole Ghana here, the actors, they know what I'm talking about. Producers don't pay. The, the, the producers owe actors. Younger, you ask for the young actors, they don't even pay them. Because of the passion they have for acting, they come and do the work, they don't pay them. Kofi Ajalulu then has become the talk on social media. Mass, what are people saying? All right, Isaac Ofosu says... Uh, Isaac Ofosu says, Kofi, you've been in the industry for more than a decade and expect you to be in the position of a producer or a director. And this one is from Quicker Encho, who says, Truth is hard, but we need to speak it. I wish he can stand on his feet and defend this statement wherever it is. And Governor Jay says, Some of you aren't even proud of your father's hustle. The last one is from Francis says, I commend you people. And thanks so much for your company here on the Midday News. There's more news when you log on to myjoyonline.com. I am MFA Powell. Thank you for showing up at our monthly meeting. I have some good news for you today. Efrido Kowahu, you have a bondo electricity credit, you Oh, relax, relax, relax. I am not increasing it. I just want you to know, from today, you have your own meter. So now you buy exactly what you want to use. Flexi bundling. Eh, what's the customize, Anna? Oh, yes. Just like that. And it doesn't expire too. Ah, a fuck. Life is good with MTN Flexi Bundle. Now you have full control to pick and choose your very own bundle packages. Whether you want to bundle 3 pesos, 20 pesos, 20 CDs, 30 pesos, or even 115 CDs, we dare for you. Just dial star 138 hash or star 170 hash to enter any amount. And bingo, you are good to go. So go ahead and enjoy bundles that don't expire. That's why we're good together. We dare for you everywhere you go. Get ready for a Valentine's Day with a difference. The love experience. A night of love songs, good food, great company with you and that special someone. Ask no questions. Have no doubts. Just come and wine and dine with live band sessions from the music goddess Becca and the ever smooth Kwabna Kwabna. There'll be karaoke sessions, a special love hunt, and the Knowing Me Knowing You segment. It promises to be lit with loads of giveaways and surprises. And the best part is you get to have a cozy night stay at the Plush Labadi Beach Hotel and wake up to the sunrise with breakfast on the beach. Just give us a call on 540 for reservations. The rate is a cool 2,000 Ghana CDs for couple for the full package including bed and breakfast and 700 Ghana CDs for the concert night which includes food and drink. To buy your tickets for the love experience with Becca and Kwabna Kwabna via Momo, just dial star 920 star 50 hush. Select the buy ticket option and select option 3 to purchase it. The love experience, the true meaning of love. Hello, I am Michael and I run the shop just down the road from your house. You know, the one you always come to when you need things like milk, sugar, Gary and other things. I'm also your cow bank agent with whom you can do all your banking transactions. So the next time you visit my shop to get anything, just remember that you can now open your cow bank snap account right here. Make cash deposits and withdrawals, transfer funds and also pay your bills easily. All you need to open an account is any valid national ID and your fingerprint. Just look out for your cow bank agents in your neighborhood or look out for any registered cow bank agent sign and enjoy easy banking with cow bank agents banking. Contact us toll free on 0800 500 500 or visit www.cowbank.net for more information. Cow bank agent banking, your neighborhood bank. Cow bank, 
Multimedia Group Limited, in partnership with SES, KNET, and WallowAfric.com's e-learning project, Willow TV, presents Joy Learning, a channel dedicated to providing educational content for all levels. The channel launches with a special focus on senior high school educational content because we believe in nourishing the minds of the future generation. Joy Learning is providing equal access to education, no matter whom you are and where you are in Ghana. Joy Learning collaborates with SES, KNET, and Willow TV to deliver a new learning experience. Study with Ghana's top teachers and lecturers on the Joy Learning Channel so individuals, senior high schools, community centers, and libraries get your multi-TV digital box now. Joy Learning. Keep learning. All right, all right, people. This is Kabla Kabla, and uh, the 14th of February is a love experience. Uh, come, let's chill. Come, let's hang out. Come with your partner. Come with your loved ones. Come with family. Come with everybody. It's a love experience once again on the 14th. To buy your tickets for the love experience with Becca and Kabla Kabla via Momo, just dial star 920 star 500. Select the buy ticket option and select option three to purchase. hope to many around the globe transforming lives into legacies live in word with pastor mensa otobil and now today's word for somebody to become excellent in life they must have a hunger for it they must have a need for it they must see it as necessary to be excellent. If you have no hunger for it, you will have no desire to achieve it. So first thing you need is hunger. Hunger. The second word there is the word appetite. Appetite is the capacity required to satisfy us. The appetite of the laborer works for him or her. Having appetite is not only related to excellence. It's appetite for the things of God, appetite for righteousness, appetite for holiness. But in this sense, I'm talking about appetite for excellence. It could be appetite for self-improvement, for exercising, for good clothes. A person with appetite has high capacity high capacity. There's a difference between hunger and appetite. Hunger is a need in you that needs to be satisfied. Appetite is a capacity that needs to be filled. And I'll explain the two very quickly. Now, there are people who can complain of hunger hunger. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I need food. I need food. And when you bring them food to eat, and in Ghana, for most people, food has to be carbohydrate-based. It's fufu, kenke, rice is for dessert. (laughs) But the person can talk about, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. You bring them maybe a bowl of fufu with light soup and a lot of meat around it, the kind that we like, you know, are the meat sitting on top of the fufu. And he takes one muscle, two muscle, three muscle, four, eats a little meat, drinks a little soup, and he's okay. He's hungry, but his capacity, appetite is small. So hunger can easily be satisfied, but appetite is a totally different game altogether. 
So for a person to be excellent, they must have both hunger and appetite. They must have hunger and they must have appetite. So let me explain it a little further. Hunger without appetite. A person, there are people with, with hunger but no appetite. They work hard for need, for their needs to be met, but they have no capacity for more. They work hard, but they are easily satisfied. When they get what they wanted initially, they get pleased with themselves. So, it's like a person who is so hungry, hungry, he takes a little bit of food and he's satisfied. He's hungry, no appetite. So, a person who is treating excellence like that, is hungry for excellence, I, I want to be the best. The moment they get a little satisfaction, they are okay. He tops his class in an exam, he considers it the greatest achievement. Frames his class certificate, puts it on a wall, and for the rest of his life, he's going to point to everybody. I top the class, I top the class, I top the class. No matter the fact that now he's failing everything, uh, he, he, he will always refer to something he did in the past. Just because you get something done right once does not mean that it's going to be there in your life forever. So the problem is a lot of people have hunger but no appetite. So little, little things satisfy them. Little praise, little patting on the back, a little article in the newspaper. Somebody says something nice about them and that's the end of it. Their hunger has been satisfied, but they have no appetite for more. People with hunger and no appetite. Then there are people with appetite and no hunger. People with appetite without hunger, they want more in life, but they are not ready to work for it. Each one of us is familiar with that situation. Sometimes it is us who have big appetite, no hunger. We talk big, but we are not ready to work for it. So, in life, you're going to find two sets of people sometimes. Those who have hunger, but no appetite. And those who have appetite, no hunger. Both are not right. A person who has hunger and no appetite easily gets satisfied. A person who has appetite and no hunger just talks big, big desire. I will do this, I will do that, I'm going to be this, I'll be the best in the corner. But they never put in the effort to get the need done or what is needed done. When, if you've watched documentary films, and you know, I like watching documentary films, especially about animals. No matter how big a lion is, no matter how ferocious it is, if the lion is satisfied, an antelope can come and walk in front of him. He will not run after him because he's satisfied. The antelope can jump and say, hey, lion, hey, lion, and go scot free because he's satisfied. He's eating. And he will not pursue what he is not hungry for. The same with life. When you are satisfied, you will not pursue anything. So if you think you are the best in your field, you are dead. Because you are satisfied. I am the best. Nobody is like me. Nobody can do it better. I am the best. And especially in this our Ghana here, where standards are so low, it is so easy to be best in a very short time. You know, I, I have observed different traits, you know, because my wife, you know, uh, is, likes doing her hair, like most women do, and they go to salons and do their nails and do their face and, and 
And since we've been married, I can count the number of times my wife would mention a certain beauty uh, space, whether it's a hairdressing salon or a beautician. And she, and this is the best in Accra. All of a sudden, somebody sets up shop and they beat everybody. Within a year, they are the best. And then, so she goes there. The next two years, she comes and I say, oh, why don't you go to this place? Oh, no, they are no good again. Somebody else has come. And then next two years, somebody else has come. Somebody, and then I, finally she gets to the point. She says, I don't even know where to go again. <laughs> the point I'm saying, I'm making is that how come it, with somebody sets up a hair salon and within one year she's the best in Ghana because the quality is very low. But when that hunger is satisfied, I am now the best hairdresser in Accra. Without appetite, the person stays where they are. And somebody else will come and overtake them. The problem with excellence is that people have hunger but no appetite. So our sound engineers would do well at the point, but when they, they have to raise up the game, they, they can say, oh, we, we know other churches, we are better than them. Even what I call bad sound here is excellent sound somewhere else. And when you think what is bad in your case is better than somebody, you are freezing yourself in mediocrity. Because not only must you have hunger, you must have appetite. If I think I'm the best preacher, I'm dead. I'm dead. If I take this job for granted, I'm gone. I've been preaching for over 40 years. I can tell you I prepare more now than I've ever done in my life. I spend more time preparing to preach after 40 years than I was doing when I began. And, of, and to tell you the truth, I don't even preach for you. Because if I preach for you, I will reduce my standard. The people can easily make you say, oh, pastor is good, oh, pastor is good, oh, yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good, oh, it's good. But you must have your own internal appetite. And your own internal appetite that drives you to say, although they want me to be satisfied, I keep growing my appetite, I keep growing my capacity, I keep improving on myself. Whom are you trying to impress? Nobody. I just want to be the best that God can ever produce. It's called appetite. Everybody say appetite. Now for those of us in Ghana... If we limit ourselves to Ghana, our standards to Ghana, we will easily feel we have done much. Because believe you me, the standards in this country are very low. Very low. I will never forget when there was a, a popular musician in Ghana, I will mention his name. And he was a very good guitarist, very good guitarist. And so, you know, he wanted to go and play outside in another country I wouldn't mention. You know, because when you do this, people will do one to one to one to and know whom you're talking about. <laughs> so he traveled outside Ghana to go and play music. And years later, he came and I was having a chat with him. I said, so what happened when you traveled? He said, Pastor, I couldn't play. I said, why couldn't you play? He said, the guitar I was playing, even high school, secondary school students were playing better. But he was the best here. He thought he was the best. He just went out and realized that the best was very low. He had hunger, but no appetite. If you're going to be excellent this year, in addition to your hunger, you must have massive appetite. Massive appetite. Massive appetite. Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, 
from verse 51 and 53. This is part of Mary's Magnificat. When she praised God and magnified him, 